Hey honeys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sinead and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I installed this wig. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Nadula Hair Company for sponsoring this video. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I received in my package. So I got a goodie bag with a melt band, some eyelashes, a makeup brush, two wig caps, another melt band with their logo, and of course the wig itself. This wig was a jerry curl wig and it was 24 inches long. So I'm just going to show you guys how the hair looks. So as you can see, even the baby hairs were curly. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the inside of the wig. So of course there's two combs at the side. And there's also one comb at the back. We also have the adjustable bands and there was another adjustable band in the inside to make it glueless. So this is how the wig looks. It is transparent lace as well and it is a frontal wig. They also provided me with this satin robe that had their logo on it as well. So I'm going to jump straight into this video. I'm just showing you guys how the wig looked once I bleached the knots and plucked the wig so I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer in the inside of the wig and you want to spread it all over I also applied some to the front portion that I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on I did not use a wig cap for this install So first things first, I'm going to cut off the extra lace that's around my ears. Then I'm gonna pull the wig back and I'm going to spray my Ebon Adhesive Spray onto my hairline, like just before my hairline. And I'm just dabbing it on. And once I've put it all around my hairline, I'm going to pull back up the wig and just rest it where I sprayed that adhesive spray. And this is what's gonna hold down my wig. This is a temporary hold just in case you guys can use lace glue if you want it to last longer but I like to use temporary hold so I'm just pressing down making sure it is sitting and then I'm using my melt band to hold it down and it's gonna stay there to dry so I, I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer dry it a bit and then I'm going to start spraying the hair with water.
Once I finish wetting the hair, I'm going to remove the melt band. And then I'm going to focus on cutting off the extra lace. So I make a slit with my scissors and then I'm going in with my razor and I'm just razoring off the extra lace. All right, so now that all that lace is removed, I'm going to focus on the baby hairs. So these baby hairs were curled when I received them, so I just decided to use my mousse and kind of play with them instead of flat ironing the baby hairs because it's going for a more natural curly. So I decided to play around with them and once I got them the way I felt like I wanted them, I just put back on my melt band and let it dry in place. So I'm just drying my edges a bit and then I'm gonna go in and try to style the hair. I decided that I wanted to do something different instead of doing like a side part or middle part. So I wanted to like put the hair up into a half up, half down type of style with some bangs. So you're just gonna watch me basically style this wig. I did go in with my wax stick and my hot comb to lay the top portion of the hair so it could lay flatter. And then I took two pieces out at the front to give it those two little bangs.
all right guys so as you can see all i'm doing at this point is just adding some mousse to define these curls because these are tight curls you want it to look as natural as possible so i'm just going in and i'm styling over my baby hairs a bit also making sure that my bangs well, the two pieces at the front are looking good. So at this point, I'm just playing around with the front of my hair to just make sure I like how it's looking. So anything that I find that I need to touch up, that's exactly what I'm doing at this point. So once I finished, I'm just going to go in with my gloss spray and I'm going to spray that all over my hair. And at the end, I'm just using my oil sheen to also spray. I also went in with this claw clip to put the ponytail a bit higher. I'm sure you guys all seen this hairstyle on Instagram where you have that claw clip and the half up, half down. So that's kind of what I was going for with this Jerry Curl wig. I thought it was really cute. So this is basically how it's looking guys. I hope you guys like this hairstyle. It was definitely something different for me because I've never really styled curly hair like this before, but I was liking it. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Don't forget to check out Nadula Hair Company if you are interested in this wig. If you are interested in any other types of wig, you can also check them out. Their link will be down in my description box below with all the hair information for this wig that I was provided with. So if you like this video, make sure you leave you press that like button <laughs> you leave a comment down below let me know how you're feeling it and yeah if you made it this far i hope you subscribe to my channel because i have a lot of hair videos on my page and i am coming out with a lot more so make sure you are subscribed you turn on that post notification bell so you know every time i upload and yeah that is about it so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching